Hey everyone, welcome back, where we make programming as exciting as a journey through the skies. Today, we're on a virtual flight from Kuwait to Bahrain. We'll use MATLAB to pinpoint exactly where we are in our journey. From taxiing on the runway to touching down in Bahrain, which lasts about 65 minutes. Imagine you're on this 65 minute flight and you're curious about which stage you're in. Are you still on the ground? Climbing or already cruising at altitude? Use MATLAB to determine your flight stage. Here is the sum stages of flight. Plane waiting at the gate. Plane beginning to move. Plane taxiing to the runway. Plane accelerating for takeoff. Plane ascending to cruise level. Plane at steady altitude. Plane descending for landing. We'll answer these questions with a little help from MATLAB. All right, let's get into MATLAB. We'll write a script that prompts you to enter the flight time and then tells you where you are in the flight. Ready, let's do this. Our first steps in this digital realm are to clear the path before us. We cleanse the workspace and the command window, ensuring a fresh start for our calculation. These are all series of conditions. Next, we need to set up our script to ask for the flight time. This will be the input from the user. It's like asking someone, how long have you been on this flight? This is the first condition in our series of checks. Determine the flight stage based on the time entered. This block of code will categorize the flight stage based on the time provided by the user. The if statement evaluates whether the flight time is less than or equal to zero. If the if condition is true, this line executes displaying the message the plane is on hold. This is the next condition. Provides an additional check if the previous if condition was false. It checks if the flight time is greater than zero and less than or equal to five. If flight time is between zero and five, excluding zero, this message is displayed, indicating that the plane is in the initial stages of moving away from the gate. This condition checks if the flight time is greater than five and less than or equal to 10. For times between five and 10 minutes, this message is shown, suggesting the plane is taxiing towards the runway. This condition checks if the flight time is greater than 10 and less than or equal to 20. If this condition is true, it means the plane is in the takeoff phase. This message is displayed for times between 10 and 20 minutes. This checks if the flight time is greater than 20 and less than or equal to 30. For times between 20 and 30 minutes, this message indicates the plane is climbing to its cruising altitude. This condition checks if the flight time is greater than 30 and less than or equal to 40. This message is displayed if the plane is cruising typically at a steady altitude, which occurs between 30 and 40 minutes. This is the final catch-all condition. If none of the previous if or else if conditions are true, the else block executes. This means the flight time is greater than 40. This message indicates that the plane is in the landing phase. It's displayed for any time greater than 40 minutes. For a flight time of nine, the output correctly identifies the plane stage as the plane is moving to the runway. For a flight time of 15, the output accurately reflects that the plane is in the takeoff stage. This detailed breakdown helps illustrate how each conditional check works and how the script determines the correct flight stage based on the input. If you enjoy this tutorial, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.